ไปโอเค Welcome back to the channel y'all Today's video is gonna be different just like all my other videos This past week they've been different um, So I just got um, Pretty much I just got done watching the um, Patriots and Titans play against each other Uh, I've got to say that game was trash. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. That game was terrible. That was probably the worst game we played all season. Um, luckily we're going into the bye week next week. Um, getting back Gronkowski, hopefully. Um. For the rest of the damn season, if that man can actually fucking play a goddamn game and quit being a fucking bitch, goddamn, play a fucking game, nigga. Quit talking about. It. I don't get it with this man. This man always ends up getting hurt somehow, some way. Like, if you're gonna continue to get hurt, then just retire. You know what I'm saying? I I don't get it. At this point, I'm fed up with this man. The, the team, terrible. The offensive line on this team is trash. Nigga, I'm sitting here watching the game, right? Sitting here watching the game. How many times have, did Brady get hit in this game is beyond me. The amount of times this man gets hit on every play. The amount of time he has to pass to a receiver that just drops wide open passes is beyond me. You know what I'm saying? Credit to the Titans. We're playing absolutely an amazing game on their end. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Malcolm Butler and Logan Ryan. And you know what I'm saying? This was obviously just the, you know what I'm saying, a game for them to, to go out and say, you know what, we got to show up. Of, of course, you know what I'm saying? Because this is their former team. And also, shout out to Deion Lewis. Um, you know what I'm saying? Still, to this day, wish they would have stayed on, on this team. Um, but they played fantastic. You know what I'm saying? Didn't really see Malcolm Butler get torched because apparently, once again, our O-line on New England is just fucking trash. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Everyone on that O-line, garbage. Marcus Cannon, trash. How? Okay, look. This is what pissed me off, right? Fourth and one. We start to go down the field. We're driving right now, right? We go down the field. Everything seems to be clicking. Fourth and one. You know, obviously, that Tom Brady is about to try to quarterback sneak this and keep the drive going. Why are you the only nigga moving on the goddamn field? How is everyone else on the O line not moving except for you? Nigga, if your fucking goddamn freaking big body ass don't fucking stand still and not move and just block, Ladrian Waddle. Speaking of not freaking being able to block, Ladrian Waddle. What the fuck are you doing? This nigga, like Adrian Waddle. All right, look. What, what I think it was third down, right? Once again, once again, reasons why our old line can't block, right? This man lets his man, the man he's supposed to be blocking, just freaking run around him and sack Brady. Like, nigga, the, the old line is just terrible. I I've, I've never seen a worse game played in my life. None of our receivers outside of Julian Edelman and, Gron and Josh Gordon were able to produce anything today. Um, I think Julian Edelman had like nine catches for 109 yards. You know what I'm saying? James White, who's, you know what I'm saying, um, obviously had one of the best seasons in the team. You know what I'm saying? Niggas basically our best player on offense. Not being targeted. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Can we can we get some screen passes? Get, get, screen passes are like our major a majority of our offense comes from screens and, and you know what I'm saying them little dinky. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and then we got them big plays over the middle with Gronkowski, who apparently just can't fucking play a goddamn game because he wants to be a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Always bitching about, oh, it's the coach's decision to play me. 
No, it's your fucking decision to stop fucking goddamn being a bitch and actually playing. Goddamn, don't freaking just, oh, I gotta, I gotta ask the coach. You know what I'm saying? Fucking play. Quit trying to freaking ask for for different amounts of money every goddamn off season and then, and then just getting hurt and then not playing. Talking about contemplating retirement. Then just retire. I fucking hate those type of players that are going to sit there in the off season talking about, well, I feel like I should be offered more money. And then when we offer them more money and they get that contract, it's like, well, we're expecting you to produce. Since we're going to give you this amount of money, you should be able to produce like the goddamn receiver you think you are, the tight end you think you are, the running back, whatever the situation may be. And then the season comes and your ass got one touchdown in 10 weeks. Trash. What, what the fuck have you been doing this goddamn season? You know what I'm saying? You got a goddamn back injury. You got an ankle injury. Nigga, stay, can you ever just stay healthy? I'm so glad that this bye week is coming. Drink my Kool-Aid. Y'all ain't never seen Kool-Aid out of can, huh? It's that Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid. Damn it. This shit's sweet as fuck. And look. Um. I know. I know. Right? De Defensive-wise, trash. Going, going against defense, garbage. It is Marcus Mariota. The nigga is trash. I'ma say, the Titans won. Cool. Kudos to the Titans for playing absolutely a great goddamn game. You know what I'm saying? From from start to finish, literally that fucking first kickoff. Nigga, the special teams for for the Patriots was garbage today. For some reason, niggas just couldn't tackle. First goddamn kick, literally on the free. The minute the goddamn game started, a nigga had the freaking goddamn 50, I think it was like 50 yard return. Like, you niggas just gonna allow that to happen? Like, you niggas can't tackle? You know what I'm saying? Fucking tackle. You got Deion Lewis out here reminding us of, of him being on the Patriots last year. Out here freaking goddamn juking niggas out their fucking shoes and shit. Almost breaking goddamn ankles and shit. Like, what the fuck? Tackle that man. Goddamn Gilmore. It's up, apparently our best goddamn corner of this season. Went back to being garbage. Nigga can't fucking goddamn guard anyone. You know what I'm saying? Nigga can't cover. Nigga, nigga obviously forgot how to cover. Nigga was over here talking shit last week about um, Devontae Adams. Nigga, you need to worry about the goddamn Titans. Yeah, we beat Green Bay, but apparently to this week we can't beat the damn Titans. All right, um, cool. You know what I'm saying? So, looking into the bye week, I'm gonna say this: we need to we need to pick this up. We need to do better. Um, if Gronkowski gets hurt anymore, and if he doesn't play any more games this season, if this nigga gets hurt one more time this season and complains about not playing. And, and sits out another game, I'm going to say it. The, I got us going to the playoffs. That's an obvious thing with the Patriots. We're obviously going to the playoffs as long as we come out of this bye week and we hit that stride. You know, it is November. Um, and this, this, these last two months are obviously the last two months where we hit our stride. You know what I'm saying? November and December are usually those last two months where the Patriots start to look like that playoff and Super Bowl team that they always look like towards the end of the season, and then they pick it up come playoff time, and then they go off. You know what I'm saying? No one really cares about any of the good teams. You know what I'm saying? The good teams like the Chargers, the Rams, the, the damn Chiefs, the the Chiefs are like a fake flex team. You know what I'm saying? Niggas play good in the goddamn regular season and get their little boost. Oh, uh, the Chiefs might might make it to the Super No, they're not going to the Super Bowl. Um, just, just like how, how niggas was capping on the Jaguars, and now them niggas is three and six. They beat the they beat the Patriots, but it's like they come out the bye week, and now they ain't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? They three and six, about to probably miss the playoffs. Jalen Ramsey, I ain't heard from Jalen Ramsey since he beat since he beat us. You know what I'm saying? 
That's crazy. But um also we just got Sony Michelle back. So that's cool. I I don't get as good as Sony Michelle is, I don't get why we always have to run the damn ball. Like coming out of that coming out of the half, right? We're down 10 and 24. What the fuck are we running the damn ball for? It hasn't worked. You know what I'm saying? Niggas have been stuffing us in the backfield the whole entire game. Why do we continue to run the ball? Like, out, like I like Josh McDaniels, but the nigga got to call a better place. I'm tired of freaking gaining like one yard and, and we're down by freaking 17. You know what I'm saying? I think this is the first time we lost to the goddamn Titans by more than goddamn 14 points since 2002. Niggas forgot how to fucking score. I think the only touchdown we had was that James Devlin running touchdown. Because niggas just forget how to block. Niggas can't play defense. Niggas can't tackle. Niggas want to hold every goddamn time so we get a goddamn penalty. You know what I'm saying? Penalties were killing us this goddamn week. Of course. You know what I'm saying? But, once again, like I said, going into the bye week, I'm going to say this. We, we, need, we need to get healthy. We need to get healthy. Gronkowski, better, better just man. If my camera fall, I'm gonna be sick. Gronkowski need need to man the fuck up and just play. At this point, fuck your back, fuck your bad ankle, nigga, just play. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm t I'm tired of of looking every week on the on injury reports and saying, oh. Gronkowski not playing this week, so we got to rely on just Julian Edelman and Gordon. You know what I'm saying? What has Chris Hogan done up to this point in the season? Can we just start Philip Dorsett over this man? Like, I'm pretty sure Chris Hogan ain't coming back this this offseason. You know what I'm saying? The nigga has not produced all season. In the, in the first 10 weeks of this half, up, up to this half of the season, nigga has done shit. Nigga ain't got one touchdown. What has he done? Like, we trade, we let go of Amendola. We don't pay Amendola, but we keep hope. And what has he done? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Julian Edelman, meanwhile, comes back, and the nigga's done more than, more than half the damn players on his team. You know what I'm saying? Josh Gordon who has a damn calf injury, has more touchdowns than Gronkowski and Chris Hogan combined. I don't get it. How's a nigga got a calf injury? By the way, Josh Gordon has a calf injury, but he's playing. Gronkowski. The nigga got a, nigga got a bad calf. You know what I'm saying? The nigga got a bad leg, but he's playing. That nigga ain't being a bitch. You know what I'm saying? So why the fuck? Oh, I got a bad back. Well, fuck your back. Nigga, fucking play. Goddamn, you're a tight end. Play. We gotta rely on goddamn Dwayne Allen. The fuck is Dwayne Allen still doing on his damn team? The nigga is trash. Nigga ain't done shit in two years that he's been on this team. Nigga caught one, one freaking goddamn one ball in the last ten weeks. What is this? What is this nigga producing? On this team, nothing. Cody Hollister, garbage. It's third and four. Nigga, catch a ball. How does Brady literally throw it into your hands and you can't catch? The ball was literally in your hands. Catch that shit. You suck. But look, going into the bye week, I'm saying, like I said, um, this defense needs to get better. Jason McCourty, garbage. Devin, Devin McCourty. I don't know what happened to that man. Trash. Deron Harmon, probably our best free safety that we got. Patrick Chung, one, one, once again, best safety we got. At least that man can tackle. Do you know what I'm saying? Got beat on one play, but you know what I'm saying? That happens. Like I said, credit to the Titans for playing good. 
I just feel like this game could have been winnable if we actually played some damn defense and blocked for Tom Brady. You know what I'm saying? How do you, how we expect to win a game if we can't freaking block for our quarterback? How we expect to win a game if we can't play defense? Of course we're going to lose. You don't block for your quarterback, he's not going to have time to throw the ball, which means we're not going to go down the field. If all we can rely on is running the damn ball, they obviously are going to realize that all we're doing is running the ball, which means we're not going to get that far with a run game, and then what the fuck we keep running it for? You know what I'm saying? All we got is Sonny Michelle and, and freaking James White. Kenyon Barner, I don't know. I guess he's good. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Cool. Um, I don't know, man. It, it was a frustrating game. Just a frustrating game overall. It was a bad week. I don't know how we go from beating the goddamn Green Bay Packers, playing great defense against the Green Bay Packers, basically locking down Aaron Rodgers, only allowing like 17 points to... to fucking losing badly to the damn Titans. But still got us going 13-3 and three overall this season. We do have to play against some, some tough teams coming out this bye week. But I still have faith in this team. I'm not going to stop having faith in this team. And we're probably going back to the Super Bowl. And anybody that thinks we ain't going back to the Super Bowl, I don't really give a fuck. Fuck your opinion. I don't care who you got going to the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? NFC wise, I got the Rams or Saints at most. It's probably gonna be the Saints. Um, so Saints and, and Patriots is my prediction up to this point. I'm still not I'm still not taking the Chiefs over anybody. Niggas is losing their first playoff game. I don't care. This video is over. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed already, turn on post notifications. All that shit. I will see y'all in tomorrow's video. Thank y'all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.